rain really hampering uh, that morning drive out there, but you certainly need to get those air conditionings going this morning. Yeah, for sure. We, we, uh, we've got some, uh, some high humidity all across southeast Louisiana this morning. Uh, no, we had some issues with uh, fog in a couple of spots uh, earlier, but that's not an issue anymore. We're looking pretty good through our West Jeff Medical Center camera. You can see the mostly clear skies that we have across uh, southeast Louisiana this morning. So your headlines for today, uh, a very hot and humid day. That's what you can expect. Scattered showers and storms will be with us this afternoon, and I think we're going to see less rainfall tomorrow. Uh, the national picture shows you that uh, while uh, most of the southeastern part of the country is in the upper 70s to low 80s, um, some much more comfortable uh, temperatures across uh, parts of the Midwest, the Great Lakes states into the Northeast, and uh, back to the west of us as well. So, uh, except over in Phoenix, where it's uh, 88 degrees this morning. Uh, so we're, we're not the only ones dealing with some high temperatures all across southeast uh, the southeastern part of the country. Some very high temperatures. There's a frontal boundary just to the north of us, but it's not making its way down here into southeast Louisiana to cool us off any. Uh, the, th the, the turbulent weather is still going to move across uh, that frontal boundary, especially like it's doing in parts of Kansas and into Oklahoma as well. Showers and storms uh, up in that direction, some strong winds, heavy downpours as well. And we've got some, uh, some scattered showers and storms moving across parts of West Virginia into our Virginia and uh, up towards Washington and Baltimore as well if you're headed in that direction uh, this morning. Uh, take a look at this. That heat uh, advisory is back, but not for us here in southeast Louisiana. Uh, all the areas are in orange are the areas that are under that heat advisory throughout the Carolinas and into uh, southeastern Virginia. Uh, that's going to be the case until 7 p.m. tonight. We're, uh, we're not under the heat advisory, but we're going to get plenty hot this afternoon. But where the rain is falling, the temperatures will be a little bit lower like they were uh, yesterday. Right now at the airport, 81 degrees, some mostly clear skies out there, 85 percent humidity. The winds blowing at about 8 miles per hour at the airport across most of the rest of the area. They're, they're calm for the most part. Here's a look at your hour by hour forecast. I'm thinking by 9 a.m., we're somewhere in the uh, upper, mid to upper 80s. By noontime today, upper 80s to the low 90s. Many of us, or most of us, will see uh, afternoon high temperatures in the mid 90s, a couple of spots a little bit higher than that, uh, some areas lower than that. And then by 6 p.m. tonight, we're back down into the mid to upper 80s. Fishermen and fisherwomen, here's a look at your tides uh, for Tuesday, and they're not much. Uh, four tenths of a foot over the Southwest Pass, and that the Wrigley's only two tenths of a foot, so pretty much uh, neat tides out there today. If you are making plans to head out to the Zephyrs game versus Memphis, uh, probably about 86 degrees when that game gets started at 6 p.m. tonight, a slight chance of rainfall. And for Wednesday, on the point, 88 degrees when it starts, and uh, about 7 p.m., we're back down into the mid 80s at 7 p.m. <laughs> Here's a look at your seven day forecast. A little bit of rainfall today and tomorrow, less so on Thursday. Now to Susan Isaacs in time, saving traffic. All right, thank you so much.